Hey guys, it's Neil, back with another PHP object-oriented programming tutorial. After about a two-year hiatus, I decided it would probably be a good idea to come back and make some more videos. So today we're going to be looking at creating abstract classes in PHP object-oriented programming, and how an abstract class and an abstract function differs from a regular class and a regular function. So I'm going to go into my text editor, where I have a blank PHP file set up, and I'm going to show you how to create an abstract class. Uh, to do so, we just use the keyword abstract and then define our class like we usually would. Abstract class, I'm going to call this one animal, like so. Now, the main difference between an abstract class and a regular class, that is, a class without the keyword abstract right here, is that an abstract class cannot have its own objects instantiated. So if you move down to the bottom of the script right here and try to create a variable called animal and set that to a new instance of the animal class, then head into our web browser and refresh the page, you'll find that we've got a fatal error which says cannot instantiate abstract class animal in our file. Now, the reason for this is that abstract classes can only be inherited from they cannot be made into their own objects. So if we create another class right here called dog, but this time we don't make it abstract, but we have it extend from the animal class, and down at the bottom of our script, create a new variable and set it to an instance of the dog class instead of animal. Now if we refresh, we'll find that our error is gone. So if we go into our abstract class and create a public function called eat and give it the function body which just says um, I am eating and at the bottom of our script we'll tell our dog to eat if we try running this in our browser we get I am eating as we would expect. Uh, that's how function inheritance works in PHP however abstract function inheritance is slightly different if we delete our function body right here and add the abstract word, abstract keyword, sorry, in front of our uh, function definition, we now have an abstract public function named eat. Now you may be thinking, why did I delete the entire function body? And that's because an abstract function is simply a definition of our function name. It doesn't do anything, it just tells PHP that every animal in our script is definitely going to be able to eat. Now, because it tells PHP that every animal can eat, that means that every animal must have its own implementation of the eat function. So if you go into our, actually, if we try to um, refresh our page now without implementing the eat function in our dog class, we'll find that we get a fatal error which says class dog contains one abstract method and must therefore de be declared abstract or implement the remaining methods. This is the part that's slightly more important right here, implement the remaining methods. It basically means that um, our dog class must have its own version of the eat function, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a public function called eat and we're just going to have it print out some text let's say I'm eating dog food because you know dogs like to eat dog food uh, if we go into our browser actually no we're going to have to call that function down here so dollar sign dog eat and now if we head into our browser and refresh I am eating dog food is printed out to the screen similarly if we create another uh, class not abstract this time called cat and have it extend from the animal class also because you know a cat is an animal uh, and create a public function in here called eat and have that just say uh, I'm eating cat food this time and create a new instance of that class down here and have that instance of our cat class eat also and run this code, we'll get I am eating dog food, I am eating cat food. So function abstraction is simply a way to make each function kind of specific to our class's needs. The dog class should only be eating dog food, 
and the cat class should only be eating cat food. However, every animal should be able to eat, which is why it's declared in our abstract class up here. Uh, that's basically all there is to go over about abstract classes and abstract functions. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about anything I've went over in this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, feel free to leave a comment or send me a private message. Uh, thank you very much for all of your kind comments on my past videos and on my channel. Uh, I'll try to get back to making more videos now. But um, thanks for watching guys.